Ah, so we meet again. Oh, the engine. My dad put it up here in the back of the truck. Huh. Alright there, tough guy. Oh, it's like completely taken apart. Oh, jeez louise. You got pistons everywhere? Huh. Oh, they're pretty burnt. Good times. Welcome to the inside of my transmission. I have to try to get this screen off so that I can clean it. I mean, it looks kind of clean right now, but when I pulled the pan off, it was so gross inside of there. So I want to make it nice. Florida, it rains a lot out here. Nice why it rained today, so we had to like do this. But every time that I turn around, this thing's getting smaller and smaller. All that's left on the wheels now is the transaxle, or not the transaxle, the differential. And here's the, the transmission. I had to take the transmission off. When I took it off, there was all kinds of garbage inside of it. It looked like somebody, instead of using transmission fluid, they're like, let's just put mud inside of it. And so there was mud or something inside. So I had to clean all that out. I think it's about clinging now. You guys see these? Yeah. That was, uh, I, I have some of the parts of the transmission downstairs. They were in that until what I was using to clean them ate through the bottom of those. I'll show you that. So these are the parts of the transmission, and they are in a soy base stripper. And that's where it leaked out everywhere. Because everything, yeah. Here's the engine right now. Yay. It's got, uh, one side has the heads off. We're going to end up replacing all the gaskets and everything down there. That's why these uh, two pistons are just hanging out right here. Here's the two cylinders that came off. Look at how tiny they are. Like a little baby engine. Look at that! I'm finally back home. Look at how much of a mess I am. Jeez Louise. Okay, so, as it turns out, the only part that's still in its original form is the body. Not even then, because it's all wrecked up. But, other than the body, everything that's mechanical about the car, save the two back wheels and the differential, is taken apart. <laughs> that's a lot of work. But like I said, once it's done, it's gonna run like a dream. And it's going to be so rewarding that it runs like a dream. I'll be happy. So it's nice and late at night. Ooh, truck's acting funny. Uh, and to go to the grocery store, I, I, like we needed to go. And so I have to go right now because uh, if not, I won't go. So on my way to the grocery store and uh, oh, I just finished Insanity. Just finished the last day of Insanity. I'm going to do uh, a recovery week and then start all over again for another two months. And it's going to be insane. Hey, get, see what I did there? Sorry, it's dark. Holy cow. Ah, oh, crap. I was just editing today, yesterday's video. And I realized that I told you guys I was going to show you guys the boat at my parents' house. And I didn't show it to you. Uh, maybe another time. I'll try to remember sometime. We are on our way to uh, one of Jen's friend's houses. And I think we're going to show a little kid a science trick and it'll be a kid reacts to science science is, what's Yelling. what's science in espanol ciense ciense uno dos tres ciense what is it do, will you tell me that, what it is wasn't that like 14 what's no, a, what's 11 14 is 14 okay 11 is 11 11 12 yeah, don't but, say do, don't, don't speak say. You know that I don't know Spanish. <laughs> I took Spanish for a long time. I took German for a long time. I don't know any of it. Me either. I don't know any German, that is. But I also don't know any Spanish either. Si. Mi tengo es muy picante. You want more hot. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do a science experiment. Okay. Sam. For Science Sam. School. Do you right. guys remember Sam from the ghost video? Go watch the ghost video right now. Skitty skitty bang bang. Right now. Go. Hi, okay. I'm Sam. That's and, Sam. And here we have a balloon half filled with water and we have a balloon that's not half filled with water. What's right. it filled with? Just air. I wasn't asking you. Oh, what's it filled with? <laughs> it's just filled with air. Okay. Okay, so here's my question to you. What would happen if I put this balloon over top of that candle? It would pop. Would it? Oh. She's she's pretty smart. I had no idea what was going to happen. So this one has a little I bit of water in it, right? Okay. <laughs> so is water a good conductor of heat or a bad conductor of heat? A bad conductor of heat. So if no. the water drops on <laughs> the fire, no, it's then a, it it's would go It's a good out. conductor of heat. Wait, what do you mean by that? I mean that if you put heat into water, it would... like. 
if you've ever noticed you've been in a pool right and when you're in the pool you get colder quicker because the water is drawing the heat away from your body so water is really good at conducting heat away from you so if you're hot you put a little bit of water on the back of your neck and you're cooler right right so if i put this balloon over the fire with a little bit of water in it it doesn't pop because the water is conducting the heat from the flame up and away <laughs> what a coincidence look i even burnt the balloon but it didn't pop it you'll burn a hole in the balloon before you pop it so then it would have pop yeah there we go. you want to do it mr Spalding. no no <laughs> when jen did it no. it popped on her i know i got water she... all over me huh? was that at lyman what did you think yeah, that was in my middle school. i think I'm it afraid. i thought it would pop yeah yeah wow nice well now you know that water is a good conductor of heat so Hi, I'm Sam, and this is a video. This is Jen. Hi. This is Tim. You guys know me. L M F A O. Is that how you say? This is my daddy. He's not sorry for part. Hi. <laughs> this is my mom. Hi. And this is me. Hey, wait. We already met you. Didn't Can we? Tell you that story. Oh. Ready. Come on, Sam. I'm gonna pour some of this pepper on this water, right? Oh, wait. Then all the pepper is gonna sit on top of the water. Right? Right. And then we take some, some soap. What are you putting it on? A toothpick. What do you think's gonna happen? I don't know. What's gonna happen to the pepper? <laughs> I'm gonna break the surface tension of the water. You see all the pepper it, sitting on top of the, of the water? Is it collect to the toothpick or is it gonna disperse? What do you think? It's dispersed. It's this first. It's this first. Here, you Perfect. do it. You do it. Poke that into the Just water. Slowly. Whoa! <laughs> Science! It's amazing! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, let's do it again! You want to try it again? Oh, remember yeah. the food coloring? I do! Same, same sort of idea. This is just breaking the surface tension, whereas the food coloring, it was. Reacting with the fat in the mouth. Reacting with the fat and boom! Perfect! Scottish. Pretty cool, huh? You can oh, also cool. do this with milk! Yeah! So I just talked to my friend who went and saw Magic Mike tonight and I said, uh, so how was it? Did you like it? And she goes, yeah, it was really good. I mean, I didn't like the story at all, but it was a really good movie. And I'm like, what? And she's like, I felt like I was getting a lap dance the whole time. So go see Magic Mike. So what you're telling me is Magic Mike is showgirls, but for girls, right? Exciting and fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.